That's why I'm doing my makeup because I forgot. So we're gonna do a um, kind of a get ready with me type thing. Except I already have the wig on, so. Uh, but it's also story time. That's the main reason why I'm making this. So I'm gonna go do that. You get a nice view of my bed. Just give me a second. Okay. Now I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the view of my bed. I might cut this that bit out. Um. Anyway. Right. Okay. So um, got my brushes. Got my makeup. Let's do this. Okay. So I got a new cosplay. This isn't what's. This is just a minor detail of the story time. It's Sal, um, from Sally Face. If you haven't played that game, I highly suggest it. Anyway, so I was minding my own business because I'm amazing. But yeah, I was minding my own business, and in the library at school, and they said to me because normally at high school in England, um. For World Book Day, I don't know if you do that in I don't know if they do that in other countries, but World Book Day. It's basically where you come in as book characters. And basically what you do, yeah, you come in as book characters. And for high school, they don't necessarily do that. But my high school decided that they were gonna do that. This time, finally. Excuse me using the camera as a mirror. But yeah, they said, oh yeah, let's do that. So I was like, oh my God. But they gave us a theme, gothic characters. And I was like, okay, what's a gothic character? Because I didn't, I didn't know if there was any gothic characters. At least to my knowledge, there wasn't any. So Yeah, there wasn't any gothic characters. But what there was... was um video game characters and stuff so they were like you can come in as something that isn't a book um and i was like oh my god yeah i love um coming as, as stuff that isn't books i love stuff like that um but anyway and they said um yeah you can come in as anything so i was like oh my god selfish is kind of gothic he did murder people so that's good so that kind of counts um, because they said you can either come in as a gothic character or as a villain. Like, I swear to God, I think that people would have come in as Captain Hook or something. But I came in as Sal. I wanted to come in as Sal. So we got the costume. And I was like, oh my God, yes, excuse to get a new cosplay. And I was very excited about getting a new cosplay. And I've got dirt everywhere. Not dirt, contour. Um, I was very excited about it. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be such a good, like, costume. Because I love, like, cosplay. I love costumes and stuff. And I was like, this is going to be my first time cosplaying out in public. It wasn't a good idea. Um, so anyway, I went in. I got some weird looks in the car because we had to drop my sister off first at her school. And it was really strange. I was like, why is that happening? Why are people giving me strange looks? Like, why are people giving me strange looks? And I was like, and I was just very concerned. But then I was like, you know what? It's probably just because they're adults and we're in England. Um, least accepting country in the world, in my opinion. But anywho, yeah, it was... I was like, okay, it'll be kind of fun if someone runs away from me or something, because that kind of fits the character, because he got bullied and stuff, and I was like, I hope I don't get bullied. <sighs> Come to bite me in the butt after that, but yeah, I was like, oh, it's so exciting, but it wasn't exciting, apparently. Like, I was just minding my own business trying to exist on world book day and none of the kids at my school came in in costume some people like came in in black like dressed in black to like pretend they were gothic characters no one got away with it they had to get sent home to change but um or like get a costume on 
And those, most of those kids were in consequences anyway, because apparently they're too cool um, for it. Too cool for what I like. Yeah, because I'm a child, apparently. And I was like, I wasn't too happy about it, because I'm in consequences a lot. Um, be, not because I'm bad, because uh, I have trouble going into class, but we're not going to talk about that. This is not what this story time's about. Um, I was like, why are you putting me here? I was only in there for a couple classes because I had double art that day and I go into art. So I was like, oh, this is going to be fine. So I was in art, but then I had to leave a bit earlier um, from art because I wasn't doing too hot. So I left and they were like, okay, you're going to have to go down to consequences again. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And there was these kids who want, needed the bathroom. And in consequences, the thing is, it's like detention, but all day. It's like in-school suspension, uh, like for a day. Or sometimes it's a few days, but never a week. If it's a week, they're at home. Um, and they were just like, they were doing their thing and stuff, I guess. Yeah, I don't completely know what they were doing. But they were like, I don't know, existing or something. Like, they had to line up to leave because they couldn't go at break when everyone else was going, so they had to go during classes. So they go, they went, Miss, the miss was like, oh yeah, we've got to line up everyone. So they all lined up and she had to go into another classroom for some reason. I think she was going in for another student. And see if this works as blush and if it doesn't then i'm gonna wipe it off my face um anyway so yeah she, she was like okay kids we gotta go um um, I just need to go into this classroom and i was sat outside because i'm not bad so i was just there to um supervised um and while that was happening these students decided it would be an amazing idea to just be rude to the person who was the only person in there in costume i was very distraught i was upset and they were just like really horrible they pulled on my pigtails if you know sal he has blue pigtails in and a mask and i was like okay i might scare people away um so i tried i failed but it's fine and these girls decided to pull on my pigtails and they kicked my chair and i wasn't too happy about that but i couldn't stop them because they were all lined up and they were like there was a door like behind me to the side. so like i'm sat down the door's, like, there where the bed is. And they were going to, like, they were in line. Half of them were already out the door waiting to go to the bathroom. And little me in the corridor was like, okay, yeah. And the teacher didn't saw absolutely nothing. So I got, so I couldn't stand up and defend myself. I wasn't, but I was, um... They were being rude to me. So they left and I was like crying in my mask. I was ruining it. I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't reactivate the paint. Also, I'm sad. Um, so I went up to my teachers um, in um, their office and I went up and I was upset and I was, their door wasn't open. So I sat back down, crying. Anyway, they sorted me out. But, and that though, there was two girls, right? They punished one. They punished the girl that was physical. They didn't punish the one, the other one, who was talking shit as well. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, you don't even know this girl. You don't even know who she is. Like, they're talking about it and you're not doing anything. And, yeah, it wasn't too good. I was very upset and distraught. So, yeah, moral of the story... Um, don't bully kids if you don't want to be dis suspended. And, like, that wasn't in-school suspension. She had to leave the school suspension. 
I was like very d weirded out by it. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I was my first time cosplaying in public wasn't the best experience. <laughs> okay, all right then. That is my makeup done. Looking cute. I'm probably gonna film some TikToks because this took shorter than I thought it would. So I will see you all soon. Also, I completely forgot to do my intro. But you see who this is by. It's Prince. It's Prince Cloudy. Bye.